Now I'm quite keen on model aircraft, as you can probably tell with the plane and the drone on the wall behind me. And a lot of my early videos on this channel were to do with model aircraft. However, recently I've been so tied up with trying to get my electric bike working that I just haven't had time to design, build and fly any model aircraft. However, I might know someone who can help me. Hey man. How's it going? Yeah, good thanks, how are you? Yeah, good, good. So I'm thinking of a new project. I haven't built a plane in a while and uh, thought I'd come to you for help because you obviously build planes more often than me. Um, <laughs> And I, what I'm thinking is something, I don't know, some crazy thrust vectoring idea. Right. Um, one thing you could do is have, instead of having canards at the front of some sort of delta wing, well not delta wing, but some kind of, yeah, some kind of jet-like thing, you could have two motors that tilt, and then maybe that would be a bit of an alternative to like just having a normal thrust vectoring. Okay, yeah, so replace canards with two motors. Yeah. I like that. Something something different. I haven't seen that before. No, me neither. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I'll tell you what. I'll design the tilt mechanism. 3D print yeah. it or something like that. Um, then do you want to build the plane? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. I'll get to work. Sounds good. Awesome. So for those of you that don't know, that was a guy called James and he runs a YouTube channel called Project Air. I'll be linking his channel down in the description below. And he builds all sorts of experimental aircraft. And he also works for another YouTube channel called Flight Test, which you may have heard of if you're interested in model aircraft and watch YouTube videos. They've got quite a large following and he actually writes the articles for their website. Now he's just sent me the drawings, uh, some sketches of the design of the plane that we're going to be building. I'm not sure how well they show up on the camera, so I'll move to the side and put an image here. And what it looks like is a Delta Wing style fighter jet, uh, where usually canards would go either side of the front of the fuselage. Uh, instead of having canards, there is two spars with motors mounted on the ends of the spars. Now, as I'm going to be designing this tilt mechanism uh, part, I've had a quick think about how I'm going to do it. Now, it would be quite nice to have the motors tilt uh, individually for roll control during usual forward flight. Uh, however, I just think the complexity of this would be quite difficult to uh, get around and also the added weight because I'll need two relatively strong electronic servos to tilt these motors. So what I'm thinking is that the motors will tilt together um, so there won't be any roll control from the thrust of the motors um, but also these kind of fighter jets they have quite high roll authority in comparison to the pitch. Um, so yeah what I'm thinking is that the motors will tilt together for exaggerated pitch control um, so that will be the thrust vector at the front of the plane rather than at the rear of the plane um, which could bring some interesting flight characteristics to the plane. Now in terms of materials I believe James is going to be building the plane out of foam board uh, to keep it as lightweight as possible uh, but this section that I'm building it has to be a bit more mechanically strong so what I'll most likely do is use aluminium spar section uh, like square box section uh, for the uh, the spar out the sides where the motors will mount to and then I'll most likely 3d print the hinge section of it and the servo mount uh, For rotating this spar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the CAD program and um, See if I can make a design Let's go Here's a quick design which I've made in fusion 360 as you can see the motors are mounted on the ends of this aluminium square spar section and I've designed lots of holes to be cut in this aluminium section, which I'll most likely be doing on the CNC machine. The wires for the motors will be routed through the centre of this aluminium spar section and come out through the 3D printed part where I'll mount the speed controllers. Moving on to the 3D printed part, I'll most likely be printing this out of 3D Prints UK PLA plastic. And as you can see here, I've modelled the servo, which will be used to tilt the tilt mechanism. I haven't finished modelling this part, but basically there'll be two push rods going from the servo to this small servo horn here, which will allow the servo to move this tilt mechanism. Now what I need to do is 3D print this blue part and CNC the holes in this aluminium spar section.
Right, so just before I send this off to James, I need to test that everything's working. I think I've wired it all up correctly. Um, I only have one receiver and I haven't even programmed my transmitter, so I'm going to be testing everything individually. So let's plug this in. So now, tilt down, tilt up. And the throttle. And that's also spinning the right way. Everything seems good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to nut these wires and stick it in the post and send it to you, James. <laughs> Boom! It's done. So basically what we have here, uh, James can probably run us through. Yeah, so the, the fuselage, it's all made of foam board, so um, from flight test, the flight test foam board that uh, they use over in, this, in the uh, US. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so this is just, uh, it starts off with cutting the wings out and then went on and made like a sort of flat bit for the fuselage, stuck that on the top. It's all very like it's, it's not it's not all like computer aided design like Tom does, but it's more um, done the proper of, way. Well, I wouldn't say that <laughs> with pencils and stuff. Um, and then I did I did the the formers to make the sort of round uh, roundness of the fuselage, and then yeah, stuck a nose cone on it and <laughs> put a fin on the top, and called so, it an aeroplane, I suppose. Let's talk about it a bit about sort of the weight and the centre of gravity. The um, tilt mechanism's quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah, so think, that's um, that's going to move the centre of gravity forward, so we need to put the battery further back. Right in the back, yeah. Because yeah. I think when I weighed it before I sent it to you, it was 250 grams. Yeah, and uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure how much the plane is. Cause... Should we see, actually, I've got my scales right here. Okay, that's a good idea. I did it in such a rush that uh, <laughs> i not even weighed it yet. <laughs> it's, reading, it's reading close to 800, it's like 795-ish, around that gun. Yeah, so we'll say about 800 grams. Then, yeah, so 800 grams and nearly uh, about a quarter to a third is the tilt mechanism. Mm. So what we're going to do now is get the plane ready to fly. We need to hook up or like program all the electronics, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, program the transmitter and stuff. Uh, this will all be on James's channel, the Project yeah. Air channel. So yeah, just head over there and we'll be doing all the programming and then getting sending this thing into the field and then putting it up in the air, mm -hmm. hopefully, yeah. <laughs> and please go subscribe to James's channel. Thank you. He, uh, he makes all sorts of planes like this. He, uh, he works with flight tests as well, so uh, he's yeah. got some interesting content. Thank you. So um, there'll be a, either a box here with a video yeah. or there'll be a link in the description. Yeah. So go check out James's channel, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much. That's See fine. you in James's video. See you there. Bye.